Hey there crypto miners, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a guide on Binance Lite. Just go through all the basic features of it, how to trade on Binance Lite and what makes it different from Binance Pro. So let's get started. When you make an account, this is the screen you'll see, just some of the main cryptocurrencies. And at the bottom right is your wallet and bottom left will bring you back to this screen. In the middle you can buy, sell and convert. You may be tempted to just hit buy, which you can, It'll give you a few different options. But in my opinion, the best way to get crypto is to go to wallet and then hit deposit. And then you can deposit your currency depending on uh, what country you live in. and Or just go to crypto and it'll generate you a crypto address or wallet address, I mean. And then you can just uh, copy that wallet and send your Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever from a wherever you're storing it to the Binance exchange. And once you've sent your Bitcoin over or whatever crypto you send over, you can just go here and hit convert. And then... For example. And then if I had half a Bitcoin in there, I'd be able to convert, right? Just like that, that easily. The Binance Lite is very slim down. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you hit the top left, there's a little more settings. But you can uh, hit this to go over to Binance Pro if you need more functionality that that provides. There's way more stuff going on here. I'll make another video for Binance Pro, so make sure if you want to see that, you subscribe. But the main difference is, is there's futures trading, if you wanted to trade some options, and uh, margin. You can do margin trades and, of course, setting limits and, you know, once you get the hang of things, if you're doing a lot of day trading, this might be better. And, of course, you can see uh, all the different cryptos in here. But if you're just swapping a few of the main ones, you might be better just to use Binance Lite. It's a lot simpler, more user-friendly, sleeker user interface, doesn't have as much going on, but you can quickly switch between the two if you ever need to. So I think I'll keep this video short. I had to keep the phone in portrait mode because it's an app on the phone and it won't run in landscape mode. So I apologize if it doesn't come up good on the screen you're using. And thanks for stopping by. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked what you saw and subscribe to see more crypto content.